Israel's prime minister has ordered an investigation into alleged leaks of plans to attack Iran's nuclear facilities. It has been reported. According to the Kuwaiti newspaper Al Jarada, the uh, main suspects are the former heads of the Mossad and the Shin Bet, respectively, Israel's foreign and domestic intelligence agencies. Netanyahu is said to believe that the two, uh, Mir Dagan and Yuval Diskin, wanted to torpedo plans being drawn up by him and Ehud Barak, the defense minister, to hit Iranian nuclear sites. Zippy Liv Livni, leader of the opposition Kadima party, is also said to have been persuaded to attack Netanyahu for adventurism and gambling with Israel's national interest. The paper suggested that the purpose of the leaks was to prevent an attack which had moved from the stage of discussion to implementation. Those who opposed the plan within the security establishment decided to leak it uh, to the media and Thorpe the plan, it said. Both Dagan and Diskin opposed military action against Iran unless all other options, primarily international diplomatic pressure and perhaps sabotage, have been exhausted. In January, the recently retired Dagan, a hawk when he was running the Mossad, said, or called at an attack on Iran the stupidest idea I've ever heard. According to a Haaretz uh, dialogue poll, 80% of respondents said they believe an attack on Iran will lead to war with Hamas and Hezbollah. 59% of respondents said they believe that it is highly, unlike, or highly likely that such a scenario will occur, and 20% said that it is fairly likely that it will occur. Meanwhile, 20% said that the probability of war is unlikely or entirely improbable. Well, you can bet on it's almost a 100% probability that if Israel were, were to attack Iran, that both Hamas and Hezbollah would hit Israel with every uh, missile and rocket that they had. Uh, not only that, Syria would absolutely use this opportunity to draw attention away from their near civil war. Uh, and uh, try to rally the people of Syria, or Syria around um, an attack against Israel. There's no question that Israel is in a tough situation at this time. With the Arab Spring changes taking in effect over 2011, Israel's attack against an Islamic nation could prove to be catastrophic. Of course, we know the Bible says that uh, Israel will never be plucked up from their land and that uh, all those who come against them would be crushed to powder by God himself. As I've said in the past, it's hard to say whether this attack will ever take place. Uh, the only specific attack that the Bible does speak of regarding Iran and Israel is that Iran would one day rise up and attack Israel. Uh, led by Russia in the Battle of Gog and Magog, which is found in Ezekiel 38 and 39. Deb Kefile is also reporting that a sudden rush of military news Wednesday, November 2nd, is part of an orchestrated Western performance uh, to convince Tehran that the U.S., Britain, and Israel are on the verge of a military operation against its nuclear installations. Directed from Washington, it is meant to warn Iran that the play could become a reality show if it refuses to give up the drive for a nuclear weapon. President Barack Obama uh, may then decide to strike the Revolutionary Guards Corps' targets, the bulwark of the Islamic regime uh, and uh, its strategic infrastructure, therefore, thereby knocking over the key props holding up the regime of the Ayatollahs. So it's likely that much of the posturing and the reporting and the leaks supposedly are all orchestrated to uh, bring Iran around to Western thinking uh, to give up their nuclear arsenal. Whether or not they will actually carry, carry the uh, 
attack out is unknown. Biblically speaking, I don't necessarily believe that they will, but uh, anything can happen. Frankly, Israel and the U.S. has waited this long uh, to uh, uh, attack Iran's nuclear facilities. It's almost like a um, last-ditch effort to try to bluff Iran into giving up their nuclear facilities voluntarily. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.